tell Andy. And see what? He's bare to Fruit Loop with a crush on Miss D. Do you want to think Emma fancies Miss Dyson? All I know is leaving the teacher present isn't right. She's been out for weeks now. Perhaps she's doing it for a different reason. So why all the secrecy? Am I let Jess take the rap? I don't know, but what if Andy finds out first? Well, there's only us and Jess who know. So let's keep a lid in there until we figure out the next move. I can't believe she's planning on giving her this. Who's giving her what? We were just talking about some homework for Mrs. Dyson. How's it going? Great. Just had another text from Anna. She said she's been missing me. <laughs> I didn't feel too fussed about it. Oh, listen, I'm gonna meet up with her. I'll see you guys later. He really likes her. You'll be gutted if you find out. What are we gonna do? We'll talk to Anna. Once she knows, we know. Maybe she'll stop. Excuse me, Mr. Mitchell. The bell will be going in a minute. Yeah, cheers, I've heard it before. <laughs> Your friends really shouldn't be on school property. Not on school property. This gate is locked promptly at 8.45, so if you'd like to make the way in. Until that bell goes, this is my time. And you've got no butts to mark out somewhere. <laughs> I'm not playing around here! Relax. I'm in. Later. Thank you. Hey. You're starting early, aren't you? Blessings, you got a uh, crystal ball and gave me a terrifying glimpse of the future. How do you mean? Me, sat here in a year's time, still doing this. There's no way I'm gonna let that happen. Starting to think I'm in the same boat. Except this one's got Titanic on the side of it. We just opened a door to a parallel universe. If you had, you'd be funny and attractive. So, I'm guessing... No. Hiya. All right. It's Shannon in the common room with a book sale. I wonder who she's trying to impress. Oh, Finani! What did you do? What's wrong with you today? Nothing. Look, I'll call the hospital later. Shannon. See if we can go in, yeah? Hey. Yeah. So, who was he? He's my lab partner. We've got work to give on this thing. So, how are things going? Okay. And he's finding things a bit hard, but we're getting there. Yeah, well, I'd offer to have a word, but we both know where that lead. Besides, it's not my problem anymore. Have you two seen Martin as well? But either of you two seen Martin? He's usually in by now. Probably off stealing hubcaps with his best mate, Max. Could just be ill. Well, if you see him, will you tell him I was looking for him? What was that about? I've learned to stay out of other people's business. Who's the date, sir? Very amusing, Hargreaves. One of you get the door, please. But uh, isn't that Mr. Robson, sir? No. He was taller than that, wasn't he? Well, isn't he coming back? He's just asked to have some things sent on. Look, there's some boxes in there you might like to have me carry to the secretary's office. Who's the new head going to be? I'm not at liberty to say. Probably going to be Miss Bassinger. You know she's been in a job all year. Mm. Well, I wouldn't stop taking bets just yet. It's not a one-horse race by any stretch of the imagination. No. The boxes. This is giving an idea. Come on. Please. Talk to you later. I'm really sorry about my dad on the holiday. He said he'd arrange it later on in the end. It's all right. It's, all right. it's not your fault. Some of you might be interested to know I'm running a competition to help design the cover of the History of Grange Hill DVD. Are you judging it? Along with Mrs. Bassinger, yes. No prizes for guessing. He'll be making an extra special effort then. I sure will turn out Joe's getting old now. Settle down, 8D. I know you decide with the weirdo. It's not me. You must know. Yeah, just leave it, Jez, all right? I'll try and talk to Emma later. Sorry, I'm late, miss. Just take a seat. Excuse me, the creep, thinking about him. He said he wasn't right in the head. What's that supposed to mean? What? You can't go around saying things like that. I didn't mean anything. How would you like it if I went round calling every insecure, two faced little liar, Emma? Do we have a problem? You found mine yet? <laughs> no. With Max shaking down your sevens for the lunch money. How are things with Max? Did I miss the announcement it was any of your business? I would ask if you'd had another argument, but you only ever talked to me when it's such a Why are you worried about Martin? Well, he's still my friend. I guess it's guilt too. What about? Pushing my name into something he wasn't ready for, and then breaking it off. If it wasn't something we could really talk about. I'll finish with Baz. Really? Why? Well, he wouldn't talk to me. Just kept pushing me away. He spent most of his time looking out for that sister of his. I bet that was one of the first things you liked about him. The fact that he looks out for others. Honestly, I think it's his legs and his football kit. 
door, please. Taylor. Can I borrow that past paper Mr. Green wants us to have a look at? So what's with the new you? Figured working is an easier way out than digging a tunnel. You and Hudson seem to be getting on very well. I saw you looking at him. I think he needs rice tested. Remember the football team? Hudson's pre-match speeches. Get stuck in. Always give 110%. Defeat is not an option. We won two games. Still, it's good to see that he's not lost the nap. I'm trying to pass my exams for myself. No one else. Did Hudson tell you this was down to him? He keeps saying it's finished. Exactly. Well, maybe you should try having this conversation with him. Are you finished? Who else are you going to talk to him about? Question. When you and Nick chat, does he start every sentence with I? So he's a little bit wrapped up in himself now. No, not now. Always. Who did you speak to? Um, Dyson, Miss Knuckle, some Frenchman, and the man from geography with a limp. Uh, Hoplong's got no chance. So you're going to tell me what this is all about, then? Robson's not coming back, right? That means there's going to be a vacancy for the head. So? So every kid in Grenchel is going to have an opinion on who it should be. All we need to do is find out who the candidates are. It's not like the teachers are going to tell us anything. That doesn't really make a difference either way. So why have you had me running around trying to ask who's applying, then? What I once told me, when it comes to gambling, the first rule is any insider knowledge is like gold dust. Well, who's gambling? We are. We're going to open a book on who the next head's going to be. We'll make pots. So, why would a man as seemingly honourable Loyal and brave as Macbeth, murder the king. Well, because his wife tells him to, which is typical, you know, making her out to be the villain. Are you attempting a feminist critique of the play, Maddie? Well, Macbeth does only act because she persuades him to. Well, the book's not named after her, is it? I mean, she suffers, but we're meant to feel sorry for this man who goes round killing kings, women and children. So why does she get him to murder the king? Because he loves her. And he'll do anything for her. So? So at the heart of this play about uh, murder and witches is a love story. So, Maddie, if you'll take the part of Lady Macbeth. Barry, if you take her husband. Taylor, if you'd read Banquo. No. That wasn't a request. The story's as dead as the guy that wrote it. Shakespeare works on very many different levels. Yeah, well, there ain't no witches, gold star kings around my way. Just read the part. I ain't doing it. Taylor, I won't ask you again. Good. So I'm getting bored of hearing it. Taylor, to the front. The rest of you read in silence. No! You think I don't know how this works, hmm? You play up, I pull you out, you think it boosts your reputation? That's not it. These guys are as bored as you as I am. Only difference is, I'm honest. So why are you here? Killing time, like you. I'm here to teach you. How do you expect to learn anything with that <clears throat> attitude? I don't. Everything you've taught today, I already know. We're just supposed to sit back and take it. See you at lunch. We're done here. Take your seat. Emma, can I have that word now? Oh, if you could. You know, it's about this thing, what's been going on. What thing? Well, people have been talking. All right. Uh, fancy giving me footy? Oh, well, <laughs> actually, I was going to ask Emma if she fancies heading down the canteen. Oh, I said I'd meet up with Tanya, sorry. Oh, well, how about Liga then? Hey, what were you two talking about then? It's nothing. Uh, it didn't look like nothing. It's something to do with art. Come on, let's go. Wait. I was wondering when the deadline for competition had been. Sometime next week, I should imagine. Why? Are you interested? Although everyone's teasing Jeremy, saying he's going to win because of the presents he's been leaving you. Jeremy insists it wasn't him, and I have no reason to doubt him. Although I'm glad whoever it is has finally got the message. I don't want to hear any more speculation on this topic, OK? So no one's believing you any more presents? Thankfully, no. I'm glad to say that this is one little mystery that's going to remain unsolved. Here it is. Metamorphosis. A complete change of character. I don't suppose me ignoring you's gonna work, is it? It's the title of a short story I'm reading. It's about this guy who wakes up in the morning having changed into a giant bug. Oh, sounds like Shannon. I think it's possible. People changing the character. Are you gonna be stuck on Shannon FM all day? Well, I still can't believe you've given in. That's a bit of a coincidence, really. I mean, you give her the big speech, and next thing you know, she's pulling an about face. Why do you even care, anyway? The point is, why do you? All I wanna do is just get my head down and get through these exams. Good. After the 
way she treated you. You know, maybe you should turn some of this advice around on you. Meaning? Nick's been trying for weeks to get you to listen to him. You gonna back down now? Shannon pushed people away, but I think she's realised her mistakes. Yeah, well, I'm turning over a new leaf too. Roadrunner is officially off the hook. You've known each other for years. And not that I care either way, but just for the record, I think she's finally starting to come around. I just wish one of you would sort it out once and for all, and maybe put us all out of our misery. Right, gather around, it's a heavyweight title you've all been waiting for. We've got all your favourites, Maliki, Passenger, Knuckle and Dyson. Hey. Oh, you looking for Annie? Uh, she'll be off with the mates. She must miss your dad a lot. Guess the fact that I've settled in doesn't help matters. Have you? Or is that just an act for her sake too? Not having to uh, check his take and his pills. Or if the electric's going to cut out this month, or even if he's going to come home at night, I'm relieved. Doesn't mean I don't miss my dad. Oh, I think you've been through a lot. You shouldn't feel guilty. I'm amazed you put up with me for as long as you did. You've helped me too. You're the only person I've ever been able to talk about my mum with. What about Karen or, or Kathy or something? It's not the same. And Kathy had a go at me for only talking to her when it suits me. I never talked to anyone before you because, well, I didn't want people to see me as weak. A little chance of that happening. You know, you scared me the first time I met you. Did I? You know, I didn't mean to freeze you out. Do you think we could give it another go? Oi, year 10 football practice. You in or are you out? What? I keep the place for you all year, but if you can't be bothered, I'm sure I can find someone that is. See you later. Oh, no, Maddie, wait. So, what's it going to be, Sunshine? Can we please tell her? I, uh, asked you here to see if we can sort this out. So what? Well, come on, there's no crowd to play to now. Just me and you here, so let's hear it. What are you afraid of? I ain't afraid of you for a start. Failing? Is that it? Easier to look like you don't care than to risk trying? No. Better to risk ending on the scrap heap age 16. No job, no opportunities, no future. Not even trying to make a life for yourself. Man, you're good at this. I don't do this job for the money, you know? I do it to help kids like you realise what you're capable of, you know, getting you to answer questions, you know, rather than accepting what's been thrown at you. Kids like me? And anything that prevents me from doing that is a problem. It's not my fault you can't teach. You know the one truth about bullies is that they think they're real tough men. But actually, the society is runts. Weak, dispensable, all of them. I'm no bully. No? Disrupting my lessons? Talking back? Intimidating your classmates? <laughs> one way or another, you will toe the line. That a threat? It's a promise. I thought you wanted to sort this out. You're all the same. Taylor, where do you think you're going? I see passenger. Not every day a member of staff threatens a people. Well, I didn't mean it like that. I, I was merely implying. The kind of things a bully says. You've had it in for me from day one. This morning you couldn't wait to lay into me in front of my mates, throwing your weight about. That's rubbish! Say anything like that again, and I'll have you and your job. Then we'll see who's a bully, and who's on the scrap heap. Are you okay, sir? I'm fine. 50 p.m. Maliki. Talk about a snowball in hell. All right, anyone else? The only thing I bet on is you think they losing money. I don't know, Mrs. Passenger seems to be the favorite. That's why she's low odds. Did I say you could stand close to me? When Maliki was acting, you'd think he fancies his chances. <laughs> Hard to be that out of touch. <clears throat> I don't think he's quite as naive as you think. You two are the talk of the staff room. Seems you have quite the reputation for these harebrained schemes. No. A hundred to one. Mr. Scott, the caretaker, at 50. Well, then. Who's going to gamble on how this is going to end? My mum keeps on asking me when I'm going to bring Emma home for tea. <laughs> Thinks I've made her up. Why do you think Emma keeps on ignoring me? Uh, well, she's probably just got things on her mind. No cares, like. Starting to think, maybe she's found someone else. Maybe you always fall off, though. Maybe you should dump her and get in there first. I like her. Oh, incomplete is that trick. Uh, hey, 
What was Tugger and Ann talking about before? I don't know. Maybe it was something about the art competition with Dyson. Why? Do you think he fancies her? No, don't be soft. She's well ugly. Something's going on. I don't believe what you just said to me. What? You just asked if you fancy Emma. Aren't you meant to hand an essay in today? Yeah, sorry, um, I've had loads... On my desk, first thing. No excuses. You might want to take a look at this. <sighs> Exam timetable. I'm so unprepared. I'm fully prepped. I just want them to start now. <sighs> I think I'm going to crash and burn spectacularly. Look, this is me being polite, not inviting a conversation. Truth is, the sooner the distance between us, the better. Oh, they've come around so fast and... I haven't had time to even think about revising. Uh, keep it to yourself, but I've got a conditional place. Right on the course that I wanted. With all the hard work I've been putting in, it's mine for the taking. Is anyone sitting here? Actually, I was waiting for Tanya. Oh, she's just I've got you something. Oh, Tanya, I've saved your seat. Hey, where have you been hiding? Just fancy some time on my own, that's all. Don't worry about Emma, she don't mean it. She never does. It's not worth falling out over. There it is. I'm gonna have to say something. I can't believe the future after ever. I knew we should have said something. Have you told him yet? Not exactly. People keep on picking on me. I've heard Tanya before. No one will believe you, Jess. We've got the evidence. It'll just make things worse. I only told you because I thought you could help me. This is a nightmare. Are you looking at your freak? I'm not the freak around here. What is his problem? You are right. Yeah. You better speak to Emma soon before this all blows up. Sorry about before. Oh. Boys talk before I should leave you to it. You didn't answer my question. My answer's yes, Bess. I do still want to go out with you. Oh, really? I'm willing to give it another go. Oh, that's brilliant. But I'm fed up with going round in circles. If it doesn't work now, it never will. It will. So pleased you could finally join us. Where else would it be? Don't try and get clever with me, boy. It doesn't suit you. His thoughts are... I'm not some cannon fodder probationer. Take me on and you'll lose. Yes, sir. Get here on time and do your work. Something you're more than capable of doing. These petulant outbursts do you no favours. Maybe it's time you faced up to that. By the way, anyone seen Martin Miller? He's absent today, sir. Oh. First time for everything, I suppose. And this is all your fault. Oh, change your record. Look, I'm not performing at that anniversary celebration. It's not like Maliki gave us much of a choice. It's either that or you get suspended for gambling. How's it going? Slow. How are things with you? Oh, same as. Someone gave me a bit of a wake-up call. It made me realise what an idiot I've been. Wasn't sure if it's too late, though. Yeah? Basically, she said if I don't pull my finger out, I might have to defer. Gee. Passenger. All right? Look, um... Good luck with it, yeah? Didn't hurt, did it? The only reason she started working is because Bassinger threatened her with the chop. She's not out to impress me. Like Shannon's ever taken any notes of a teacher before? Just forget it. Mr Green! Look, if it's anything to do with the DVD, it'll have to wait. Um, no, I was after some advice on bullying. Do you want to know? What if you knew someone was being bullied, but they were too scared to say anything? I know it goes against the law of the playground, but uh, talking to a teacher or an adult is always the best option. Resorting to violence is never the answer. What if you didn't realise you were being bullied? How could that be? Say if someone was taking advantage of you, but you were too trusting to realise. Some bullies pick on ones they think they can intimidate. Others, because they're different, that are by means of being accepted by the majority. Ultimately, all bullies are cowards. No one really believes that, though, do they, sir? That's just something you're told to make you feel better. Well, what are you after here? A long-term plan to eradicate bullying? Because I hate to say it, but unfortunately, it's a fact of life. Well, what if you've given advice to just one person, then? Like I said, talk to an adult. Uh, <clears throat> a bully thrives on the idea that this won't happen due to the uh, threat of a violent retribution, which, which is no answer at all. And what if they do come after you later? Well, what then? Look, 
I had a pretty hard time at school for a while. With experience, I uh, learned how to handle things. Just made myself less conspicuous and hoped the bully would get bored and move on. That isn't very reassuring. Some people are picked on because of things they can't change. We've all been in lessons where someone's proved disruptive and thought, if only they weren't here, wouldn't life be so much simpler? So if I knew the answer, I'd be a very rich man. <laughs> Come on, lesson's about to start. Why, well, finally says something to Emma. I'll go over in a minute and have a word. We need the test chief. Talk. Em, we need to talk. Oh, you as well. What? Listen, are you seeing someone else? Why do you say that? I just I saw you talking to Togger before and... You think I'm seeing Togger? I know he wants to ask me something, but I don't know why. Something's going on. Him and Abel have been acting weird all day, asking if we're going to finish. Oh, yeah. I got you something. Oh, no. Is this a joke? What? Where'd you get this? You stole it! No, it's mine. What do you want with perfume? Well, what, what makes your finger stole it? Andy, I need your help. Go bother your invisible friend. Where did you get it? Out of Togger's blazer. I thought you got it for you. Yeah, you fancy your best mate's girlfriend. How weird are you? Is that where you got it? No. Tell me! I thought it was yours. You left it the other day. Since when have you started wearing perfume? We seen you leave it when we were in the store cupboard. So where'd you leave it? On Miss Dyson's desk? No! You're the one that's been leaving a presence? How sick is that? Emma? Em? How sick is How that? How sick is that? How sick is that? How sick is that? Emma? What's going on? Hey! Is it true? Why are you leaving a present for Miss Dyson? Maybe because she's not right in the head. They were just gifts. Then why run out of the room like you're guilty of something else? You do realise everyone will be talking about you by now. Stop it. Just leave me alone. Big hell. Oh, like she's always been the sympathetic one with me. Making out she's better than the rest of us. Not so true after all, is it? Why didn't you just admit it from the start? You'd have laughed at me. No, he wouldn't. But you all made fun of Jeremy when you thought it was him. Oh, big of you to let him take the heat. I just wanted her to be happy. Without knowing it was you leaving the present. I wouldn't expect you to understand. Why don't you ring and have me locked up too? At least I'm not a lesbian. Just shut up. I'm not. Can't wait till Dyson finds out that her number one golden girl is a big soppy crush. <laughs> Emma, what's wrong? What's going on? Well, sorry, miss. I told you she was weird. You just shut up. You should have just told me. Sorry, we just didn't want to hurt anyone. We thought that if we dealt with it, then no one would ever know. Yeah. Well, big success, because pretty soon everyone's going to know about it. We just didn't know what to do. We're supposed to be mates. We are. I just... Yeah, feels like it. A-level papers. Better get them locked away, eh? Yeah, precious goods indeed. You okay? Yeah, a girl in my form ran out of a class early on. I was hoping to catch up with her by the end of the day. Find out what was wrong. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. What would Miss Bassinger do if she knew what you were doing? Now, I uh, thought the time I've never made any promises. You are your own worst enemy, Mitchell. 